now that we've looked at some of the shells, I'm gonna show him the uh, Australian car we have. I think, I think he's gonna want that. So this one has the Australian doors on the Aussie, so you can roll it up, but it still has the Mark I hinges. Why don't you guys hop on in and uh, take her for a little joy ride? Bet. All right, give her a go. A little choke. The good news is you will never hear that again. <laughs> go for it. I'll give you a little push. I got an idea for you. You don't think this uh, the 35 horse is gonna cut it? Nah. All right, all right, all right. 435. There you go. That's what she says. Well, I, that would be a, a Super Cooper Type S. That's right. You know, happy wife, happy life. Yeah, and you'll never be late again. That's right. See if she makes it back into the shop. I tried to get a little skid around back there. I wanted to get that, you know, rally feel. Well, now you'll have a, a good idea of where it was and where it's going. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, just an idea from, like, you know, all the hot rods and everything I've been around. Uh, what you would think about, like, louvers or something. Mm -hmm. A couple louvers to be able to let some of the heat dissipate out of there. We can do that. Think. What, what, what kind of plans do you have for this interior? Well, we've got uh, a lot of ideas floating through our head. We've, uh, we've talked about different leather, and yeah. hemp combination, textures, and you know, try to bring some uh, elements from our life into it. Oh! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations! <laughs> and this is paying homage to the. Tasmanian wine. You know, living in the future to enjoy what we do. Yep. And to the first Super Cooper S Model 1. Here, here. Here, here. Woo!